Hi there, it's Jeff Harrison here, and I want to talk about a plugin for Corel Photo Paint, which I find is very useful for replacing colors. I feel that the results from it are better than the built in features that you would find under the Adjust menu, Selective Color, or Replace Colors. Okay, so once you load an image of your choice, um, for example, we've got a picture of a Ferrari here. Let's say we want to make that red instead of yellow. After you install the plugin, go to the Effects menu, go to MV's Plugins, choose Color Replacer. Alright, so I'm going to uh, just reset all just to make sure it's all reset there. And then go to uh, left click on a yellow color, something like that. And the first thing you want to do is left click on Copy from Source after you've chosen the color there. Based on the features that are here, it gives you a lot more control over what's selected and what's going to be changing later. So if I was to adjust the hue down to a different color such as red, like that, you can adjust a variety of other things. You know, it's it's up to you what you want to do with that. Pink Ferrari there. <laughs> but the fuzziness control is the big one. And if I was to just zoom in on this image here, you can see inside here how it's very coarse. And that's because of the fuzziness setting. If I bring that up, you see how it blends in there? Just watch that area. Going from there and blending it in allows it to uh, be much more natural at how, how it's coloring in there. And there's some other adjustments too you can play with if you want. Just very small adjustments in here change how it responds in a pretty dramatic way. See how that's blending from the original to the new color? Let's say we're happy with that. Okay, so the next step is, and I often do this in Photo Paint, sometimes after some adjustments, I'll want a portion of the original image back. Uh, so I'm just going to, to zoom out here. We can see that in the trees we've got some red there now that I didn't really want. Perhaps there's some elements of the original image I'd rather have in the original yellow. Perhaps the brake calipers, the Ferrari logo for example. So what I'll often do is hit Control C at this stage which copies us to the clipboard. I'll hit Control Z and that brings us back to our original image. But the, the red one is still on the clipboard so I'll just press Control V to paste that in. Uh, and then let's zoom in on the caliper here. Let's say we want to have a yellow brake caliper there. So I'm just going to press X to bring up my eraser tool. And what's happening is, is I'm erasing through the red version of the Ferrari down to the yellow one that's underneath. Okay. And let's see, I want to zoom in on the Ferrari logo. Something like that. It's just a quick demonstration here. And perhaps the trees. I'm just going to really widen out my eraser there. And we're restoring the color of those trees. Again, it's just a quick tutorial. And uh, just before you know saving the file, you want to flatten it. Control Shift Down Arrow will do that. And to prove that, I'm going to open up my Objects Docker here. You can see I've got the red one on top with the uh, yellow one underneath. Uh, control shift down, down arrow makes it into one single image and then you could save it as the file format of your choice. And so ultimately it's, it's I find it very effective because of the additional controls when changing the uh, colors of images. Hope you enjoyed.